Leah Tortilla presents. Hey guys, it's me, Leah Tortilla. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some seriously gooey golden syrup flapjack. This bake is so easy, you'll be like, why did I never try this before? And with only four ingredients, trust me, you won't be disappointed. To get us started, we're going to start by lining our baking tray. So we're going to grease the bottom with butter and then we're going to place some baking paper on top of that. Baking tray, butter. Just rub it all in there so that the paper will stick to the tray. Ta-da! One lined baking tray. After you've done that, make sure you preheat your oven to 180 In degrees. In pan, we have 125 grams of unsalted butter. When melting butter on the hob, make sure to do it on a low heat because butter melts quickly and you don't want it to burn. While you're waiting for your butter to melt, you need to weigh out 125 grams of light brown sugar and add that to 250 grams of plain porridge oats. That is stir. Then when your butter is melted, we're gonna add that to our oats and sugar. And stir that in. Once your butter is fully incorporated into the oats and sugar mix, we're going to add three to four tablespoons of golden syrup. The more golden syrup you add, the gooier the flapjacks. And we want our flapjacks really gooey. And then you're just going to fold the golden syrup through your oaty mixture. When you fully folded through your golden syrup, we're going to put our oat mixture into our tray and we're going to flatten it down a bit like you would a cheesecake base. So we get all that in there. And just evenly spread it around the pan and press it down with the spoon. You can even use your hands if you don't mind getting a little bit sticky. The mixture seems to stick to your fingers less than it does the back of the spoon. Then we're going to place our tray bake in the oven at 180 degrees for around 15 minutes until it's nice and golden. I was going to add some chocolate chips to my flapjack, but unfortunately the shop didn't have any. So I'm going to run to the shop in a bit and get some chocolate to melt and drizzle over the top. It's going to look banging. 15 minutes later, it's all bubbling, it's gooey, it's nice and golden brown. We're going to leave it to cool so that it will set and harden because at the minute it's like a bit liquidy because of the butter and the golden syrup so when this cools down it will firm up and we can portion it and drizzle chocolate over it as we wait for our flapjack to cool down i'm going to show you how to melt chocolate for decoration so in a pan you need a small amount of boiling water and in a bowl you're going to put your chocolate and we're going to rest our bowl of chocolate just above the boiling water. Make sure that the boiling water is not touching the bottom of your pot otherwise the chocolate will burn. And the last thing we want is our chocolate to burn. Now our flapjack has cooled down. I've taken it out of the tray and I've removed the greaseproof paper so I'm going to portion it before decorating. You can see my portioning skills aren't that great. <laughs> we're gonna take some of our melted chocolate and we're just gonna 
drizzle it well might slap it on our flapjack make it look nice bit fancy and there you have it we've got this beautifully gooey and delicious slice flapjack covered in chocolate I can't wait to take a bite mmm scrumptious that's it for another episode of Leah Tortilla I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have mmm well while I clear up if you could give this video a like a share Maybe even subscribe to my channel. Who knows? You do you. And I will see you next week. This has been Leah Tortilla.